From the hilarious to the horrific, scandals have been a part of royal families pretty much ever since royal families became a thing. Today on History Scalpel, we're going to talk about five of the most insane and notorious royal scandals in history. You may be familiar with some of these stories, while others you might be hearing for the first time. In either case, they prove to dispel one long-held myth. We're sorry to be the ones to tell you this, but power-hoarding taxpayer state mooching families where interfamilia boinking is a feature instead of a bug are far from perfect. Let's go! The Prince's Tower Prison For this royal scandal, we're going to England for a still unsolved royal mystery. Members of royal families in the past were under constant threat from within their own families. There always seemed to be someone waiting in the wings to do something horrible to the person in charge and take their power. In 1483, young Prince Edward V was set to become king after his father, King Edward IV, suddenly died. Naturally, this was a horrible and confusing time for the young monarch. Still, thankfully, he had an uncle, Richard, Duke of Gloucester, to protect him and look out for him. Sounds great, right? Well, by protect, we mean Richard really lived up to the short version of his name by being a real Richard and having his nephew, Edward V, and his twin brother abducted and locked away in a tower of London before the prince could become king. We know what you're thinking. Boo! Yes! That's a horrible thing to do, right? Well, the move was supposedly made by the now King Richard III to protect his young nephews from anyone who may harm them. Oh, it may not come as a shock, but neither of the boys was ever heard from again. This has led many to speculate that their uncle had them executed as a way of solidifying his power. Somewhat ironic to this is the boy's own father, Edward V, gained power when he and the now King Richard III murdered Henry IV and George Duke of Clarence. <laughs> what a royal pain. The Emperor Who Blinded Her Son for this somewhat eye-opening entry, we're going to Byzantine, which is located in modern-day Turkey. History is littered with stories of royal family members attempting to take each other out in bids for power. However, it's especially shocking when such conflict arises with a mother and son. Take, for example, the scandal of Constantine VI and his mother Irene, who had a tenuous relationship with royal power between 780 and 804 AD. The two began to share power by co-ruling in 780 after the king's death. Constantine was just 10 years old at the time. But as the boy grew older, he wanted to throne all to himself. After all, who would want to rule alongside a helicopter parent? After a decade of co-ruling, Constantine organized a coup against his mommy dearest. Finally, he seized the throne himself, despite an earlier failed attempt to dispose her. Now, don't worry, the new emperor didn't have his mum killed. No, instead he had her exiled. The act of mercy was a mistake. A few years later, he welcomed his mother back and made her a co-ruler. So all's well that ends well, and the family prospers, right? <laughs> this decision proved to be a blinding mistake. Clearly, Mom was still ticked off and power-hungry, so she conspired against her son. But rather than just take the power and banish him, she had her son kidnapped and his eyes gouged out in 797, so she could take full power. He died shortly after. Meanwhile, she ruled as emperor, not empress, before being kicked out of power for good just five years later. Talk about an eye-opening, or maybe eye-gouging experience. The Mad King, the Queen, and her lover, the Doctor. It's no surprise that royal marriages are about consolidating power, which is exactly what happened when Princess Caroline Matilda of England married King Christian VII of Denmark in 1766. The wedding made the Princess Queen of Norway and Denmark. She was loved in her new homeland, and it all was wonderful. Until a dark secret emerged. By all accounts, her husband was a lovely man. Sometimes, his dark secret was that he had what would be called today mental problems. This included being psychologically unstable and suffering from anxiety attacks, outbursts of anger, paranoia, self-mutilation, and hallucinations. So to help, the king and queen brought in German doctor Johann Friedrich Struency. Meanwhile, the new queen found herself feeling lonely and isolated. And cue ominous music! It didn't take long for the queen and doctor to become lovers. However, along with their mutual love of boinking, they also shared a lot of political viewpoints. During this time, the king became more passive and less interested in ruling. So, can you guess what disastrous mistake the king will make? Will he continue to rule poorly? Go on a walkabout to find himself? Or, the king gave almost total power to his doctor. Soon after, the queen and her lover, the doctor, pretty much ruled the Danish government and enacted over a thousand new policies. However, that too would not last. About ten months into the new regime, allies of the king convinced him that the queen and doctor wanted him to be imprisoned and killed. This led to the king taking action by having his doctor executed, and his wife exiled after divorcing her. You could almost say the king's doctor doctored his own demise. The Royal Con Artist Be 
being a part of a royal family is generally pretty simple. One is either born into a royal family or married into one. Even commoners with no royal blood can marry in. Though there is a third and rarely practiced option. You could lie. That is exactly what happened in Ireland in 1491, when a man claiming to be Edward, Earl of Warwick, and most importantly, nephew of England's king at the time, Henry VII. This was a problem for the king because he had just taken the throne by force, so his grip on power was a little shaky. So this new nephew would be a challenge to his royal claim, but something was clearly amiss. Short order, Edward instead claimed to be Richard, Duke of York, all in a bid to gain power. Richard, or rather Edward, managed to gather a significant amount of support from nobles across Europe in his bid for power. His backers included Holy Roman Emperor Maximilian I, James IV of Scotland, Charles VII of France, and Margaret of Burgundy. The widespread support, despite his dubious claim, is a testament to the depth of his deception. Despite the various votes of confidence, and even a few attempts to take power by force, Richard was arrested in 1497, that's when his true identity was revealed. Was he a jealous family member too far down the line in succession to have a real shot at the throne? Close, but you're way off. The noble was a commoner named Perkin Warbeck from modern-day Belgium. Despite getting off with just house arrest because the king felt oddly sympathetic to the man, Perkin was eventually executed for attempting to once again overthrow the king. Say what you will, but the con man shot his shot. He just happened to miss every time. The Purses That Led to a Trio of Bad Nights We're going to start off this entry with a bit of a disclaimer. Be very careful about regifting something you were given, because as in the next entry, it may lead to sex, torture, castration, and eventually imprisonment. That's right, this scandal has it all, including nice purses. So in 1314, Queen Isabel was at an exciting point in her life. She was the ruler of England, while her father, Philip IV, was the king of France. And best of all, her three brothers were freshly married to noblewomen. That must have been a heck of a combined bachelor party. Shortly after the weddings, the Queen of England wanted to get her new sisters-in-law something to make them feel welcome. So instead of opting for a trip to Walmart for a set of matching royal bread makers, the queen instead had three beautifully crafted purses made for the ladies, all of whom graciously accepted the gifts. However, this is where the trouble started. See, at the next family gathering, Queen Isabel noticed something odd. She spotted the purses in the room, but not on the arms of the recipients. Instead, the purses were hanging from belts of a trio of knights. At the time, knights were basically rock stars, so this would be the equivalent of a rock musician walking around with women's panties on his belt. Odd and kind of insulting, right? So the queen got suspicious and told her dad, the king of France, and this is where the scandal really ramped up. The king, concerned for his son's honor, ordered spies to follow his new daughters-in-law. It didn't take long before the trio of ladies were caught in the middle of the act with the knights. For their involvement in the affair, the knights were tortured for weeks, which included them being castrated. Meanwhile, the women were imprisoned underground with their heads shaved. Talk about a bad night to be a rock star. These affairs eventually led to the 100-year war between England and France. Thank you for watching today's video. As we've seen, royals have problems too. They are mainly born out of undeserved privilege and regular rules that do not apply to them. At the same time, if any of us mess up in our personal lives, it rarely results in entire nations suffering. To us, that kind of constant pressure sounds like a royal pain. Remember, you may not be a royal, but you're someone's king or queen, so don't be afraid to treat yourself like royalty now and then.